Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to deal, a real quick one, to deal with script cleanliness. I, I was just talking to a friend and she was asking about what what to do, how to make your grasshopper scripts not look like just absolute spaghetti. And I had a couple tips which I shared with her and I thought this would be a great spot to share with you guys as well. Um, so this will be quickly going over just like overall script cleanliness and uh, organization of your uh, grasshopper scripts. Um, how to use like invisible wires, how to use clusters, how to use uh, re the relay node to organize your um, wires within Grasshopper, and also how to use uh, groups and colors just to simplify that. Okay, so we'll just jump right into this. Um, overall script organization, what you'll find generally with, uh, with Grasshopper scripts is you're passing a series of objects through a series of different um, processes. So for example, in this script I just quickly made, you're, we're starting out with defining a bounding geometry, which is this rectangle defined by these series of parameters. And then within that geometry, I'm populating it. And then I'm also uh, just ramping the points to be uh, more at, towards the top of the box and less towards the bottom of the box. So anyways, so what I've done is I've created this geometry. In this, uh, in this group, I've then uh, array the points within the geometry, then I'm doing, then I'm organizing it with a points to object within this group. So all this is, all this group has done is, um, is, you know, is arrayed those spheres based on a series of domains um, to each one of those points. And then here I'm just meshing it. So meshing. And this says, God, I, I smoothed it and rebuilt it. So they actually, um, in the end, joined each other and sort of became more Metaball-esque. Um, and then just this last group is um, previewing it with a shader from a human. So what you've seen is I have a really simple script, but you can take this principle of how to organize it where you pass through each one of these um, singular nodes in, in a hierarchy. So you go, you know, you, you pass to your, your information through and you can always swap out information. So for example, here, let's just turn this on. So I've, right now I've defined you know, this base geometry, but what if I wanna quickly swap out a different geometry? I can just swap this in and you can use um, stream inputs, outputs to swap that in. So all I'm doing is changing one wire. I could even uh, group this to be, and I can change the color. And, and in the end, this, will have quickly outputted that same thing just with the, or that end uh, metable result using the same pass. Um, and so, so this allows like a lot, of, a lot of control because you know in between this node and this node, you're going from a scattering or population of points, like three dimensional points. And all this group is doing is putting an object on those points and I can do whatever I want within this. And it's always like a controlled thing. Anyways, um, so that's just like the overall, um, the overall uh, organization of these scripts. So what I'm going to show you is how to do some invisible wires. So one thing that I notice in here is that there's a couple of seeds. For example, this um, populate 3D has a seed and I can change this of course. And so this seems to be like one, a main, um, per, a main parameter of this script where I can generate in, continual different iterations using this seed. So I'm actually going to pull this out and put it up here. And I know there's another seed over here. Where is it? Where is it? Um, ah, the random. Here, so let's just generate another guy here. So I'm, so all I'm doing is providing another seed value. So now I have two seed values. And I'm just going to put them up here because I know I can continually iterate new variations of this based on these. And now what I'm going to do is go down to here to generate, so this, the thing is that at, during a complex script, these wires are what's gonna cause your complexity and dirtiness of your script. So you can go here, just click, right click on this, wire display, and hidden. And now you're gonna see you're gonna get these little radial, uh, little signal, um, signal icon that shows that it is connected to another part of the script. And, you, and it'll be revealed once you click on this node. And so I'm gonna go over here and right click, disconnect hidden and so now I have two C values up here that I can also group and control the whole script with 
so I can I can just quickly you know um, well not quickly because my computer is going real slow right now but I can quickly just change these seed values up in this upper left hand corner of the script and, and iterate through whatever process um, I want but that one's not uh, liking those other two seeds anyways okay so that's so that's going over the invisible nodes the organization Oh, using the relay node. This is also another one that I found. I'm actually using it right here. Um, I can, here, let's double click and that will disappear. The relay node is essentially just double clicking. You double click on any wire. Before I clicked it in this group and it kept on giving me uh, some reason a problem. But and what you can do then is it allows you just, it doesn't do anything. All it does is allow you to draw. Um, is to is to control that uh, is to control that. So here, let's uh, let's just bring that back to default. And now I can double click on this relay node. And also, if you didn't want it to be hidden, for example, you could just here. Let's bring it out there. Then let's double click again. Got a second relay node. And you can bring this up here. You know. I don't know, that's of course real real dirty, but but I'm just showing you the possibilities of the relay node. Okay, the the, the last thing is I've just clustered. So what I've done is I've grouped these nodes. Here, let's, let's just delete this. So this is the points here, input points, output geometry. So what I'm gonna do is just delete that. And now let's, and then um, scroll wheel, hold it down and you go to here, to the group, and, it, and you get a group. And when you, you can right click on this group and then you can of course name it. Uh, PT object so point to object and whatever your default color this will uh, appear as that color my default color is purple but you can go down here and change that so you can quickly iterate and, and create like a nice organization for yourself I think this is really helpful and like clear another alternative is not um, grouping these guys but just grouping these so highlighting these containers that um, hold that just hold that represent which geometry is outputting and going to be inputted. You know, so you're inputting a geom uh, geometry node, which is going to be a bunch of B reps, and then I'm unioning, unioning those B reps, meshing, rebuilding, just to get rid of any uh, inconsistencies and errors, smoothing and um, subdividing, and then another output before I'm uh, visualization. Anyways, okay, and the last tip, which I'm going to show you today, is, uh, is um, clustering. And this is just real simple. All it is is basically, so I can, I, I know that I have this node. Um, maybe I'll want to use this, you know, this population to, uh, this population of points elsewhere in my script. And what you can do is you can highlight all of this. Actually, let's not highlight this guy because I want to keep that outside my cluster. Just these ones, uh, middle mouse or scroll wheel click and then go to cluster. And what it'll do is it'll put all of those components within another component. And all the inputs will remain. remain. So you can see how this will immediately real, be able to click, uh, clean up your script. So all I have is an output or an input is going to be that 100, the number of uh, points in my populate 3D and that seed, which is controlled up here. And then if you double click on this, you go in and then that's where you can see your other, um, your other components that are hidden. So this is really nice to, of course, keep your uh, scripts clean as well. Anyways, just wanted to make really quickly make this and show you, you know, the possibilities of um, keeping your scripts clean and avoiding spaghetti. Anyways, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.